Hello everyone. In this Premiere Pro tutorial I'm going to show you how to use speed remapping and adjust the footage speed with your music. So let's get started. Here I just cut these clips with my music bass. As we can see these clips look so boring. So I'm going to use the speed remapping of all these clips. I'll show you the easy and professional way to do it. And the higher frame rate is always best for speed remapping. So the first thing we want to do, drag this track upward. That's going to give you a little more room. So you can see these clips a bit better. Then click on this little FX icon, time remapping, and select speed. As we can see a line in the middle of the clip. So if we drag it up, the video speed will be faster. And if we drag it down, the video speed will be slower. Now going back to the normal speed and move the mouse pointer over the line. Then hold on control key. Then we can see a plus icon. Now right click on the mouse. So it will add a keyframe here. And I'm gonna come to the left side of this clip and drag it up to make it faster. I like to speed up around 500%. Now if we click on this keyframe and drag it to the left or the right side. And this curved line indicates the gradual linear slowing down the speed. To make it more smooth, again click on this marker, then you'll see a handlebar in the middle of the curve line. Now drag this handlebar to the left. So it smooths out the ramp, and gives a nice gradual motion. For the right side, let's down the speed, around 50%. Now let's see the preview. So now it looks much better than before. For the second clip, I'm going to do the same thing again. For the third clip, again click on the FX icon, time remapping, and select speed. But this time I will speed up this full clip, around 600%. Now here I will make some cuts to match up with the music beats. So I'm going to make the first cut to the first beat. And another cut to the second beat. Then delete this middle part. Now attach these clips together. Again make a cut on this beat. Then move to the next beat. And make another cut. Then delete this part and attach the clip together. Again make a cut on this beat. Then move a few frames, and make another cut. Then delete this part and attach them. Now let's see the preview. I want to slow down the speed of the last cut. So again make a keyframe, then stretch it, and bring it down to the left side. Now change the curve like that, to make it more smooth. And that's it. As you can see, this clip is shaking too much, because I cut this clip 4 to 5 times. To make it stable, we have to apply the warp stabilizer effect. So mark all of these cuts, and nested them. Then go to the effects tab, and search for warp stabilizer. Now apply this effect to the nested clip. As you can see it's analyzing. If we are go to the effect controls tab. Under the warp stabilizer effect. You can see that, warp stabilizer is processing the clip. And it'll take a few moments to complete the process. And there we go. And that's it, now it looks perfect for me. For the color grading. You can check out my cinematic LUT presets pack. Inside this pack, you'll get 15 cinematic LUT presets. And these presets are very easy to use inside the Premiere Pro. Make a new adjustment layer. Drag it to the timeline. Extend this layer duration. Then select this layer, and open the Lumetri Color tab. Under the Lumetri Color tab, open Creative, click on None, and select Browse. Then choose any LUT from this pack and click open. 
And that's it. Now if you think it's too much, you can decrease the intensity of this preset. Now let's see the final preview. So that's all for today, if you enjoy this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I'll try to reply all the dedicated questions. See you in the next one, have a nice day.